Has your investigation ever been derailed over an unnecessary debate about whether something is a root cause or a contributing factor? Well, one of the most common errors that we see organizations make is when they try to impose special terminology uh, labels in their problem solving sessions. Uh, and I'm gonna explain why. So let's start with how people tend to define these two terms. Uh, contributing factor, uh, often that's used to describe something that just simply contributes to the effect. You know, that on its own, it cannot produce the incident. And then if you control it, you're only gonna reduce the likelihood. You can't really guarantee or prevent the actual problem. Whereas a root cause is used to describe the main cause, you know, the most important cause. You know, without the root cause, the problem would not have happened. And of course, the benefit is if we identify the root cause, controlling it eliminates our problem. Now, it seems pretty straightforward on the surface until we try to apply this. Uh, let's take uh, an example, for instance. Uh, if we talked about uh, oxygen and its relationship to fire, is oxygen a cause of fire? And if so, does it contribute or is it a root cause of fire? Most people would describe oxygen as a contributing factor that, uh, you know, on its own, it cannot cause a fire. However, doesn't it also satisfy the other argument around root cause? You know, without oxygen, you cannot have a fire. And then if you get rid of the oxygen, you can guarantee that a fire does not take place. So notice that it satisfies both definitions as people typically describe them. And this is why this becomes a challenge in terms of problem communication. You know, instead of trying to differentiate the causes, the fire triangle tells us that all three causes, heat and fuel and oxygen are required to produce the fire. What happens though is we try to differentiate the causes instead of the solutions. Instead, if we debated which solution is the best at reducing the risk, then at the end of the day, isn't that ultimately the output we wanna drive? The best solutions to prevent recurrence. This also highlights where we see the miscommunication around the term itself, root cause analysis. Uh, we like the analogy, you can't just focus on the symptoms of the problem. You gotta get to beneath the surface, you know, that system of causes. But the error that often organizations make is they wanna to try to find the root cause, as in there is one singular cause that we have to identify and eliminate. But in reality, it took all of the causes. And if we take that systems approach, it gives us more options to choose from, so that we can really pinpoint and select which solutions are the best to prevent recurrence. So the next time people try to impose the terminology, move the focus to revealing what's required, and then instead what we want to debate is which solutions do we think are the best.